All right, I'm on hole number three of the Skyline Cup tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook. Check out Skyline Cup. All right, hole number three. Okay, we need to get down into this hole down here. And I know from... And I don't have my notes with me, but man, I put I put just a couple toss in on there and ended up down in the in the rough down there, and that's not a good spot to be. Um, you want to be in the fairway here, and you don't have to be all the way down in there in order to make this happen. But here's the here's the kicker. It all depends on your wood. So if you bring a big dog, you don't have to get very far down in there at all. If you bring a sniper and you want to start off on the green side you better get down in there you bring a guardian you really want to start off on the green side on the green on the green fairway area because it doesn't have very much top spin and you don't want to have to do the bounce over from the other fairway area so if you decide that you're going to bring a more accurate club that's got a little bit more ball guide you know like a viper or a sniper or a hammerhead you want to bring something better than your big dog then you better get down in that hole if you're not able to get down in that hole, then just bring a big dog. The goal here is to get on the green, get your eagle, and go to the next hole. There's a lot of people here. You get a great Albi shot if you set yourself up for that sniper shot. But there's a lot of people that are going to come to this hole and going to get pars. Or they're going to get birdies instead of eagles. And so if you can just consistently get on the green and get your eagle and go to the next hole, you're going you're gonna to be up on a lot of people. If you want to pick up a shot, your best way to do it is to get into your sniper range. But you have to make a commitment there on that drive. Now, here's the... here. Oh man, there's so many holes in this tournament that are just like right here. You know, you need a kingmaker on hole number one in order to, because of the curl. You need a kingmaker on this hole because of the distance on the second shot. You need a kingmaker on hole number eight. You need a kingmaker on hole number nine. There's four holes right there. Um... And, you know, having a kingmaker, so four times five is 20. You're going to need 20 of those balls just to be able to make it. And I have just enough if I want to play a kingmaker on this hole. The problem is I know I can get down in the hole with a katana. The problem is I don't know if once I get down in that hole with a katana, if I can achieve what I'm looking for on the other end. I guess the way to go would be a titan and just do max curl. So that's, that's what I'm going to have to do here. I'm going to bring my accurate bag. And here we go. Hole number three. All right, let's go back in there. A lot of interruptions this morning. It's early in the morning. Stuff's happening. The world's waking up. Everybody's calling me. Getting the day going. Got a bunch of shit to do today. A bunch of stuff. And I really like coming into this hole with a three side spin ball. But if we can get down in the hole with a two side spin ball, then the other end is a straight shot. You just need distance. So the Titan will work on the other shot. It's just whether or not we can get the Titan to work for us on the first shot. With a quarterback, I'm not using all of the side spin, or excuse me, all of the curl, so I should be able to get it down in that hole pretty pretty nicely. But if you have kingmakers, this is definitely a hole where a kingmaker will do better than a titan just because of the curl on the first shot. Our opponent will have a nice shot from there. Just a couple top spin. I'm gonna come out and back just a little. We're four or five. See if we can get squared up with the wind. Four or five. I'm gonna put on maximum curl. Isn't it perfect? trying to feed myself down into that slot down there.
so the goal here is to get so that you your red line you can get over and start off on the green side without having to use any overpower that way you can set your ball up and you can take out the wind and you can make adjustments that are are you know repeatable as opposed to trying to bounce over from the other fairway trying to bounce over to the green fairway if you're trying to bounce over you're going to need a club with topspin sniper big dog not sure how much topspin the viper has uh, you're going to need something that's got got and obviously if you've got mo the more ball guide you have the better so if you're bringing a big dog you're not going to have a lot of ball guide let's see if i have enough to get over i don't but i brought the club for this particular shot and it's literally you're just adding just a little bit three seven so that's a 3-7 pull. And we want to just hit it perfect. Hitting it perfect. Give myself a look at it. Give myself a look. Oh, close. No cigar. It seemed like the ball guy was lying a little bit, like I practiced this hole a couple times. I didn't get a lot of play, but I ended up getting this hole. And the ball guy seemed like it was lying a little bit when I was further back, so I, I started adding that little teeny bit of top spin on it and getting right at the hole, and now it's shooting past the hole just a little. But I don't like the speed right there, whereas if it hit the flagpole, that speed is right on the cusp of whether or not it'll pop in the hole or whether or not it'll bounce off the flagpole. So I want to come in there with a little teeny less speed. So maybe half a top spin or what, you know, and that's going to all be dependent on your landing zone down there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's all going to depend on your landing zone down there. On whether or not you know the consistency on that shot yeah it was just crap it's all right good game you don't like blowing shots like that but that's how the world works all right that was hole number three of the skyline cup tournament and tuesday or excuse me the opening round of the ricky division thanks for watching